Hi, it's me again with Kirill Roll Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video, and while that video is loading, I was thinking, you know, I made a bullet out of an ellipse tool, and let's just say they wanted a square bullet. You could make a square bullet too, but you could actually use these periods. So we're gonna control, well, we'll just go up to object and ungroup, or break the, control K, break them apart. And like before, we're gonna have to control G to group the two words together. So they won't, so they'll act as one. And then we can hold down the shift key and grab all our periods. And there's still a text, so we could change it to 250 points and make them big. And then all we have to do is select them and use the same align and distribute and distribute them the same. Now, if you notice, they're not in the center, but text kind of acts weird sometimes when you're trying to align it, especially when you've got capital letters and hanging over P's. If all the letters were just bottoms, this would not be a problem. But we're gonna hit T and put them all to the top, and that put them all to the top. And then you could literally just move them down <clears throat> until you think, because they're already separated, you could grab, hold down the shift key and grab our, tell you what, let's do, we've got our nudge factor set pretty low. Grab it, hold down the shift, grab it, grab it, grab it, and then just cursor it down. Holding down the shift key will make them go faster. I've got my nudge factor set way too low and for this case, but just visually see that they're in the center is probably good enough in that case. If this word did not have these bottom parts, it would not have to do that. But the thing that's nice about this, you could always go back and like before I was changing, trying to change the size. Well, let's make them all 300 points now. Well, not 3,000. And you just made your block bigger. Now you'd probably have to go through, let's, uh, let's do it one more time, holding down the shift key to grab them all. Let's make them 500 points. You're gonna to have to go and distribute them again, but that's not a problem. And then you can kind of visually see they're a little bit high. But that way you could still use a font and you don't have to do that. Let's back up here so they were only like that size. Grab the shift key and use another font if you didn't like those um, squares of that particular font, Arial. Let's see what Julian's looks like. See, Julian's are like in a, a weird shape. Uh, Arial's probably gonna all be the same, but you could have all kinds of different shaped bullets by just changing the font. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.